with leaves. Let's go, Tarzan! Come on. Let's go, Tarzan! You pay for bestiality, bro. You pay for cows to get fisted and jerked off. And you're coming out here to make what statement? Come on! You must go vegan, brother. We're all here for you. Come on, Tarzan! We'll all help you. This message of getting everyone to stop eating meat should be much better met by taking small steps like improving the living conditions for animals in general. <laughs> It's the right thing to do. It's what we're meant to do. It's been said that we're gonna do this one day. We're all gonna go vegan one day. That's a promise I make to you. Are these guys paying you? No. I don't think they're paying him judging by the lack of tailoring on that suit and the fact that he's not wearing a full suit. Uh, so we are at the Animal Rights Parade in New York City. These guys, these guys really don't like me. So we're at the Animal Rights Parade in New York City. What's today's date? August 22nd? Uh, it's, it's August 23rd. It is a beautiful day. You know, I was going to wear something like a suit or nice or professional, but I decided to get a tan today. Uh, as you can see, most people are covered up wearing sunglasses and shades. We were at an event last month called the Anonymous for the Voiceless, and the people from that event are still here. Last time they were like going around talking to people, you know, not really letting us talk to them. And I expect a lot of the same stuff today, so I wouldn't really be surprised if, if we didn't end up getting to talk to anyone. Uh, but we're gonna try to hand out some flyers, talk to some people. Hey man, this, this guy that just flipped me off, that's wearing a vegan hat and he's got so much ink on his arms you can't even see his skin. I guess it protects him from the sun. He was actually walking out of Starbucks earlier because I was going in there to use the restroom, but I mean, I didn't know Starbucks was a vegan restaurant. Look at me, better than you, papi. I'm vegan 100%, look. You like it? Okay, I'm vegan, we saw we die, man. My, 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 my viewers are gonna love two shirtless men in a video. Okay, see you brother. Be safe, okay? What would you say like a simple messages of what you guys are trying to do and, and how you're trying to help the uh, you know the moral or ethical aspects or environmental aspects of what's going on? We're trying to save the animals, um, save the ocean and um, create a better society for us to live in. It, it, I mean is this issue like I mean people are really a lot of people don't have like any starting point. Is this pertaining to, you know, fishing for food? Is this because of you know, the way we're fishing right now is displacing the natural habitats of these animals. What, what is the actual overarching issue? What's, what industries are causing the main concerns here? Overfishing and plastic pollution right now, that's the biggest thing. So, overfishing and plastic pollution is definitely a concern. And, you know, one of the reasons we came down to this animal rights movement today is is because I thought they were going to be a little different than vegans. You know, these people actually have a message. And it's not just about, I mean, it kind of is about just removing meat from the diet, but these people also do care about animals. They don't wear flip-flops, you know that, right? Cavemen don't wear felt either. No. They don't wear what? They don't wear felt either. This isn't real fur. So what are you? I, you know, I actually went to uh, a costume rental to try to get some. What do you have? Don't get too sweaty, buddy. Do you want to get views and likes out of animal suffering? Do you want to promote animal abuse and animal suffering? I yes, get plenty I get plenty of views without doing that, by educating people on health. Okay, but so you're educating them about how a vegan lifestyle is actually healthier than non-vegan lifestyles? 
We can talk about that in a second, but I, I have one question first. You're, you're never going to convince everyone not to eat animals. So why not just promote for better animal conditions as opposed to removing meat entirely? Because how do better animal conditions work in any way if someone that does not want to die is actually killed? Because it's a realistic improvement. You, if you live right now your life, you're happy, your entire life, and then someone comes and cuts your throat, you would be okay with that because you lived that good life? What do you, you think you think they can eject me? Well, this is public property, so it's like. Do you, do you just mind repeating what you said? So if you live your life happily, free, doing everything you want, and then I come and I cut your throat because I want to eat your body, is that justified and it's okay? Do you think you're living free right now? Are you doing what you want to do? Yes. Do you own any pets? Uh, I don't own anyone. I rescued two cats. So she has two cats as pets. Do you feed those cats? They're not my pets. They just live with me. I'll, I'll give them a home because they were homeless. They were in cages and I saved them from that. Okay, you saved, you saved the cats. It's, better, it's, it's arguably better than the cats obviously dying, but what do, you, do you feed the cats their natural diet? I feed them uh, food that they are healthy with, yes. Okay. So you think an animal is supposed to be wild and free in its environment but you have a cat living in an unnatural environment in your house and you're providing it with food? Yeah, so the thing with that yeah, is... going to take care of him right away. Good. So the thing with that is that I would not have a wild animal that I take from the wilderness as a pet just because I want to, but cats and dogs have been domesticated for many, many years and now they have a problem of being overpopulated and killed because they don't have a home. So to fix that problem, we neuter them and we take them in our homes to save them because we created this problem. So I would never promote this problem by buying an animal. I do adopt animals though. So, so you're, you're saying that by removing me from your diet, you're reducing the amount of cruelty. Absolutely, more than 100 animals are saved each year for one person going vegan. Okay, what about the insects, herbicides, pesticides that are sprayed, killing trillions and trillions of wildlife, ruining the environment, ruining the soil. You have fawns, deers, rodents, gophers that all get killed when you till the soil, when you farm these crops. The reason why we're vegan, because we care about all those animals as well, is because one cow will have to eat in their entire life. Uh, she will have to eat a lot more uh, crops. Yes, they will eat a lot more crops, one cow, for their life, just so that we can eat one cow. So that means that for us to eat... Uh, you know, cows can eat grass, right? <laughs> they feed cows. You know, I buy grass-fed beef because I actually believe in, in treating animals correctly. Um, there's actually studies. If you want to be scientific about it and factual, cows eat a lot more crops and water. Uh, actually, they do. I can drive two fucking hours out to Pennsylvania and we'll go see some cows eating grass that don't get yeah, fed any crops. They, they do eat grass, but you know what? They industrialize me. Does, it's not like that. No, I agree with you 100%. You I agree with you 100%. Well, you, you interrupted me about five times, so now I'm going to start interrupting you. Oh, okay. So. I'm not gonna so if you want to let me talk, when you talk, I let you talk and then I, you let me talk. The reason I interrupted you is because I agree with you. I think that we should stop consuming conventionally raised meat and promote better animal conditions. Okay, do you know why that's not feasible? Because currently 51% of the ice-free surface is occupied by animal agriculture and its crops, which means that right now we're not even being able to feed all the population. We're about less than 8 billion people. You want, you want to talk statistics with me? Currently, we're growing food for 10 billion people, and we are not even being able to feed the 8 billion people on our planet because we're feeding those uh, foods to animals that we eat in Western countries where we have more money and more resources. If we were to get rid of all those animals and feed those crops to the people, everyone could be fed, everyone could have water, and yet we're not doing that. You know why? Because we're being selfish, and you're being selfish right now. Do you, do, do you know how many acres of pasture land are in the United States? No. Nope. 800 million. Okay. Do you know how many cows are in the United States? No. Nope. 100 million. So? Do you know how many acres it takes to raise a cow? Uh, about 20 times more than a vegan diet. A cow can live on 1.5 acres of land approximately. And we have 100 million cows right now. If we were to utilize all of the pasture land, we could have several dozen million more cattle minimum. If, if you're saying you... 
for humans and we could have the land is not arable for you can't grow pet you can't grow crops on pasture land that's why it's called pasture land actually you can and um, it requires okay. no it requires irrigation it requires herbicides pesticides you have to dramatically change the land and and you're what you're basically saying is it's better to conventionally grow grow corn and soy than it is to not for my biology class apparently you haven't because you don't know you don't know the amount of acres of pasture land in the united states you don't know how many cow that means that I don't know. No, but you're throwing out statistics yes, like you're intelligent. I know that 20 times more uh, land is required for an omnivorous diet than for. You're a just pulling numbers out your ass. No, I'm not. If you actually you look. Want me to pull it out of like scientific governmental. Go ahead. Things? There are specific crops like cucumbers, lettuce, eggplant that actually require more resources to grow than animal foods, almonds, avocados, whatever it is. All right, we're gonna. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go. We gotta talk to some other people because, well, I, I could check it out, but we got. I don't want to spend 20 minutes on one interview. What did you watch, Cowspiracy or Earthlings? Both. All right, we got our answer. So you so you're not open-minded to any other beliefs? You're not open-minded. You can't change your mind. I followed a vegan diet for a period of time. What a lovely young lady. The main reason I'm here is because it seems like a very extreme thing, and I, I think realistically... Do you think stabbing animals is extreme? Well, let, let me finish my point. So, I, I, do you think it's realistic? You don't really want to talk to this asshole at all. He's doing this for YouTube publicity. No, I, I've seen his uh, debates. So yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a he's fucking asshole. The cameras, the and, the and, and the I am promoting are... better animal conditions. The, the, all right, we'll go somewhere else. This guy's a fucking clown. Hey, were you guys interested in reading about some downfalls of a vegan diet? You just like animals? Yeah. Do, you, do you have a pet? No. Oh, you don't have a pet? You don't have a cat or a dog? Oh, I'm surprised. Why do you like animals so much? Because they're, they're animals. Uh, why, why are you... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm being a little bit rude. Uh, so you come to the Animal Rights March because you want better conditions for animals in general and to stop conventional agriculture, basically. Yeah. What do you think the best solution for that is? To stop killing animals? Well, yeah, we want to, but realistically, I don't think you can convince everyone to stop eating meat, right? So instead of just saying stop it in general, why not promote better animal conditions like animals raised on pasture, you know, you mainly raise animals. At least the animals are in better conditions if people are going to refuse to stop eating meat. Well, technically they shouldn't refuse to stop eating meat because animals have feelings too. Just like... Well, I, mean, I mean, yeah, I, I agree that animals have feelings, but... You're never, ever going to convince everyone to stop eating meat. It's never going to happen. So why not take a more realistic standpoint and support more humane agriculture? Do you have an answer for that? Sorry, I, I, was, I wasn't... Wait, 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 could you repeat? Yeah, I, I can repeat that. So you're never really going to convince everyone to stop eating meat, right? So why not just support better conditions for animals? Better conditions? Could you repeat that again? Yeah, sure. So, why not just promote for better animal conditions? Why not? Well, it just makes more sense because it's not only about like animals. Um, it also involves like the environment, um, your own health, and um, uh, so basically. Sorry, I'm really out of it right now. No, no, it's all right, man. I understand. It's hot outside. New York City, EMF hellhole. I, I got it, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. You want to read this first, miss? She saw it already. She read it. Okay, so, um, yeah, my, my, my overarching question is, you know, you never re it's, it's, you're, not, you're never going to convince people to stop eating meat. There's always going to be people that eat meat. So why not have... Why don't you go back into Starbucks no. and get another coffee? Why don't you go over there? Go back into Starbucks and get another over coffee. There and interview them in front of that cruelty footage. Go do that. I will. Go I will. I'll meet you there in five minutes. Five minutes. My over. Yeah, we could do that. Um, I, I listen. The, these people are aggressive. They're angry. I understand. Uh, yeah, just give me, give me one minute. Give me one second. I mean, I'm, I'm being a little bit of a dick coming down here with a caveman outfit, but, you know, some of these people are very nice, lovely young people. Others, some tatted up dirtbags, but what are you going to do? So, uh, my, my overarching 
you know, point is, get hey, tell them to come over here. Yeah, you're gonna be kicked tell out. Tell them right to come now. over here. here. Get the police then. Yeah, we are. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I keep getting interrupted. You're never going to convince everyone to stop eating meat. So why not just promote better animal conditions? But why do we have to kill animals in the first place? But no, but realistically, you're never going to convince people to stop eating meat. I don't think that's true, though. Because eventually, the majority of people are going to go vegan. I'm sorry. It was clearly an accident. It's never even next. I'm so I'm so I'm so sorry. I know I know you're taking your time to talk to me. I hope people stop interrupting us. But what were you saying? I feel like it is possible though because eventually the majority of people will be against animal cruelty, and then they're going to teach their children, and eventually the meat eaters will die out. I feel like that's a possibility. But, but do you think the solution is to have meteors die out or just have people? Well, let, let's look at it this way. If you raise crops and soy and corn, you know, you do kill insects, a lot of animals, fawns, deer, gophers, rodents. Are you okay with people just killing like one or two cows a year as opposed to dozens to hundreds of small animals in conventional agriculture? I know it's difficult to say, you know, to take the life of a larger animal, but it provides a lot of calories and a lot of sustenance for people. I actually disagree with that. I feel like when you plant any kind of plant, like butterflies will appear, other kinds of insects. Yeah, but they spray ins they spray herbicides, pesticides, and and ruin the environment. Which is why we should grow organic foods. That organic can still use those pesticides and herbicides. It's just different types. Okay, so then the solution is to just stop using pesticides. Simple. But then you could not grow crops. It wouldn't you wouldn't be able to. For, 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 so how did people do this? Like you you, you do understand organic farming uses animal manure. Okay, okay, but I'm saying, how did people grow food for themselves way, way before pesticides existed? They, they consumed a lot of their calories from animal foods. Think about it this way. If you raise a cow, you have a lot of calories for the whole year. Okay, I agree with the fact that people back then had to eat meat to survive, but right now we don't really have to, you know? If there's other options, well, why not? Did, I'm sorry, but you said you read my sheet earlier, right? Yes. Did you, did you read the nutrient aspects? Yes. Well, okay, so um, I read something. I believe it said that there was B12 in like the dirt or something like that. B12 in like the dirt or something. And like, hold on, hold on. And like, when you pick up a fruit, like from the ground or something, like it has B12 on it. This is just something I heard, right? Or like read or something. I'm not sure if it's true, but this is where I feel like people would get their B12 from. I'm sorry. Yes, please. So th there is bacteria in the ground that does have a small amount of B12, but this is a, a myth. What happens is cows are able to get certain nutrients from the soil, from the bacteria, and they have unique digestive systems that allow them to convert those nutrients into B12. You don't really want to talk to this guy. He's a YouTube, trying to be a wannabe YouTube superstar. So he I am trying to, to stop clowns like you from killing babies and ruining people's health. This guy's a fat, yeah. I'm sure. You want, to, you want to take a couple and hand them out? No. All right, so we're gonna uh, walk around a little bit. Let's go over here. How are you, ladies? Hi. Were you interested in reading a flyer, if you don't mind? I was, I was gonna get one of those too. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, I, I have a, I have a chal, I have a challenge. I have a, I have a. Listen to a challenge. I have a challenge for you. For 30 days straight, for lunch, breakfast and dinner, you're gonna have McDonald's. You're gonna have a McDonald's burger, and guess what? We're gonna supersize you, all right? Let's see how you feel. Look at him right now. Look at him right now. Look at the camera, right? One month, when you wanna start the challenge, breakfast, lunch, dinner, you will have only McDonald's, right? And let's see how you look, right? Let's see how you look in 30 days. I am 100% I am against conventional agriculture, the types of food products that McDonald's uses. Do you accept the challenge, yes or no? What the f like? What what is your point? <laughs> breakfast, <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you accept the challenge? Do you accept the challenge? Let's 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 supersize him. Let's see how he likes it. Let's see how much how much meat you're gonna have. Okay. He looks pretty supersized. He's a vegan. 
guess what? Here's my card. When you're ready for the challenge and you're not, a, I'm not gonna say the word. When you're ready to accept the challenge, let me know. You wear that suit when you sell real estate? Right here, young lady. <laughs> she, she said, if you're such an activist, where's your poster? It's in my hand. There's nothing factual on there. Now, now you guys are littering too? What's going on? No, a 60 spy, a vegan knife is very good. Because you're harming the health of thousands of people. This is bullshit. You didn't even read it. You didn't even read it. What's going on, man? Were you interested in reading a flyer about... No, you don't want to... Okay. Were you interested in reading a flyer on some downfalls to a vegan diet? Check it out. Thank you. Well, this is great. Hey, were you interested in, in... Were you interested in reading a flyer about some downfalls of a vegan diet? No. You, you you do realize you do, you're smiling. You're you do smiling. you do realize it. Really thinking about it. Like, I think he might be vegan. I feel like this is all one thing. I I joke on my YouTube channel all the time about how if I could have gone vegan four years ago, I would have had like five million fucking subscribers by now. I swear to God. No, I I'm promoting better treatment of animals, but my main message today is that. It's unrealistic to expect everyone to not eat meat, so why not just try to have people eat meat that was treated better? That's your personal moral perspective. You're still killing animals when you farm corn, when you farm soy, when you eat meat, that's a lot of problem. You need life to sustain life, whether it's a plant dying or an animal dying. But you can see your neighbor and not eat it. Yes, I care about I care about animals I can't make this shit up. You're an idiot! Where are you going? followers. You can't communicate with animals, you can't communicate with plants. Uh, you know, every individual being on this planet has a response to a negative stimulus in its environment. Sure. And whether and your moral judgment on what's better than other things, that's up to you. But if you're for plants having feelings, you know I that. I didn't say that. Oh, okay. So you I didn't say you that. Don't say they don't have feelings either, do I? No, I didn't say that. I said that. Yeah. Well, I want to hear it. I mean, if you want, if you want me to speak, you're not interrupting that. I, I'll repeat what I just said. So, every living being on this planet has a response to negative stimuli. Yeah. Whether it's you cutting your arm, you pulling a tree out of the ground, you pulling an animal. There's negative stimuli in, in every single aspect of our modern lives, and you're placing a label on what's more valuable than others. Oh, but yeah, I know, and I understand that you mentioned the plants and plants and have feelings isn't necessarily. I didn't say that. But you say they have a negative response. No, plants. Are, if, if you. If you take a leaf off a tree, if, it, if, it, if like a any like if a rabbit eats a blade of grass, the grass releases certain chemicals, enzymes, and molecules that stimulate uh, anti nutrients uh, that actually damage the body. But herbivores have adapted to digest these anti nutrients. Right. So they're trying. The plants are trying to deter. Plants actually deter animals from eating. Them. That's why humans prepare our foods in certain ways. Sourdough bread, um, like traditional Scottish preparations, oats, you have nacho. So plants basically go through the same kind of negative effects, not necessarily feelings, but negative effects that animals do when being slaughtered. No, that's, that's not, a, I don't think that compares to animals. You're trying to like, generalize something I'm saying. No, no, I'm trying to understand like the negative effects and why that's a focal point for you. I mean... Like, why is that a focal point? Because the reason why I'm asking because if that's a focal point, then cows eat plants. And if you eat cows, you're eating plants and cows. So you're double damage according to you. The main reason for that is when you when you farm corn, when you farm soy, any sort of animal, but we're not supposed to eat chickens. Yeah, but I'm ready. Yeah, we're, I'm just trying to. I'm not trying to like. Kill. When, 
I, I, I keep getting interrupted. When, when, when you're doing conventional agriculture, you're tilling the soil. Actually, no, let me just explain the brief process of how you plant crops. So, you have to till the soil, which goes like that. That's a So, long story short, growing corn and soy kills a lot of rodents, a lot of horns, a lot of deer, a lot of insects, a lot of pests. And if we were to have animals on pasture, the total amount of animals and beings that would die and suffer is far less. Is it far less than a Sorry. Sorry. Where's it going? Well, but no, but... It's going... It's a no, proven no, fact no, that no, animal agriculture hurts the environment. But when you raise animals with adaptive multi pedic grazing, and you control the environments on grass, when you raise animals in proper environments on grass, grass plants use carbon. I agree, but yeah, wait, but how are we able to raise for the demand that people want? Do you know how many acres of pasture land are in the United States? 800 million. Right. 800 million acres of pasture land that cannot be used for growing crops. And there's 100 million cattle. Our potential for having cattle on pasture far exceeds what we're doing right now, and the reason for that is because it's people make too much money selling people cheap, shitty grain fed meat and cheap, shitty plant products. You go to the Union Square Grain Market, you will buy both plant products and animal products that are raised in a better way than any food you will find in the store. Well, how do they kill the animal that was raised in the better way? The same way they kill them. So, so, so slicing, slicing a cow's throat is, is better, is, is worse than grinding 10 rabbits up in a harvester? That's the comparison you're making. No, no. Veganism is about being perfect at all. Veganism is about doing the, the least amount still, of damage. No, but you're, then you're deciding what damage is. You're, you're deciding no. the value of oh, the Oh, no. I'm a pro. I'm science, baby. Animal agriculture is destroying our planet. I'm not. I love. Listen. I used to. I had you know a pig roast. You know. Wait. I had a pig roast at my house. I used to go to McDonald's four times a day, but listen, I embrace facts, and the fact is, animal agriculture is destroying the entire planet. Okay, you're saying that. Do you know what percentage of animal agriculture accounts for carbon emissions in the United States? In the United States, yes. I know that it's one of the leading parts of the entire world. So, total agriculture in the United States, everything entirely, is nine percent of emissions in the United States from the EPA. Three percent of that is animal agriculture. Did you know that having one child is 60 times more carbon than going vegan? I'm just, wait, real quick. I, un I understand what you're saying, but why not do multiple things to help the planet? Why are you pinpointing this when it, wait, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Factually, Let me, can I answer that question veganism first? does help the planet. Sure, but I, I forget it. Well, you're going to ask me three questions, but I'm not going to be able to address each one. So, if you follow a vegan diet, your impact versus a standard American diet is better, yes. without a doubt. 100%. But, eating anim animals raised on pasture are beneficial for the world. I just have, honestly, one question for you. Why not just eat a diet that doesn't do harm to the environment and also saves lives of animals? If it's, un if it's unnecessary to eat meat, because it is for pleasure, it's 100% unnecessary to eat animal products, 100%. Okay, I'll give you three points, and, and let me just say three points before you go. And a plant-based diet does not provide certain nutrients only found in animal foods. Two, the impact of animal agriculture on the environment isn't because of naturally raised animals, it's because of the way we're raising the animals. And three, what are we lacking? I didn't finish it. I know, but I, like you said, uh, like you're that, asking, you're mentioning three things, and I need to address the first thing, which you're going to go up on. I, I don't know why. No, I, I just want, so, let me just say the last one. Can you do this without the paper or no? Yeah, I can do it without the paper. Okay. So, the three, you're not going to rubble, right? So, the, the nutritional aspect of a vegan diet is not adequate for human needs. Two, the impact of that raising animals on the environment is solely because of conventional agriculture. Three, from a moral and ethical standpoint, following a vegan diet kills more animals and harms the environment more than following a diet in animal foods that were raised properly from the environment. Why does it kill more animals? Because you're, you're, you're spraying insecticides, pesticides. Right, but you're telling me that you kill thousands of deer, fawns, rodents, millions and trillions of insects in conventional soy and corn farming. But do you know that we feed livestock corn? So you're doing double damage by you. eating meat. I told you. I told you. Are you not listening to me? Shame! 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 I'm not gonna shame you, but I like science and science.
Science so, proves that vegan diet. I told you. I told you five minutes ago and that there's over 700 million. And you shit in the woods and wipe with leaves. <laughs> do you have a cell phone or do you drive in transportation? Can you have vegan some trees? Get out of here! What are you talking about? Even though the fact that car is there, we're actually going to play. Because you're saying you're a caveman, you, know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you eat raw meat. You know, do you shit you and wipe in the woods with a leaf? You pay for bestiality, bro. You pay for cows to get fisted and jerked off. And you're coming out here to make what statement? Make the statement, bro. Go ahead. Make it. Get it over with. He's going to make a statement, everybody. Make it interesting. Make it suspicious. Come on. Come on, fucking Let's say something magical. Hey, can I? No, no, no. Yeah, let's let him speak. Let the man speak. So my overarching message, I came down here today. I understand. Um, listen, I'm just like a K-man. I'm acting a little, you know, it's, it's not a good look. I'm being a bit of a dick. But this message of getting everyone to stop eating meat should be much better met by taking small steps like improving the living conditions for animals in general. Instead of having no people... Is that what you're supporting? No! Let's oh, no, let me finish. Can I finish? No, let him finish! You guys, let him finish. If, if you guys are not... If you guys even can't let me say what I'm saying, why are you... What's the point of me being here? We could cause the least amount of harm to others, man. That's the point. We could thrive while causing the least amount of harm to others. So how do you morally justify eating someone's body that didn't want to die? The leader of this vegan event walked into a Starbucks earlier, got a nice fat cup of bug juice, a.k.a. coffee, that has over 150 insect parts per cup. You think you're That's vegan, you think animals. you're not harming animals, but you are killing millions, trillions of insects and you Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's a good point, buddy. Now I have a question for you. Because he or she went and got a cup of coffee and insects die for it, does that morally justify you paying for animals to be mutilated, tor tortured, and murdered for unnecessary reasons? So it's okay to buy corn and soy that has dozens and dozens and dozens of rodents, rabbits, fawns, deer, all this tiny mammalian life getting ground up and harvested. The majority of the soy and corn grown is to fatten up the animals that you're eating. There are over... There are over... 800 million acres of pasture land in the United States, and only a fraction of that is being utilized. Our current model for raising animal foods and plant foods is unsustainable. It's not sustainable. So whether you're eating a, a piece of broccoli from the supermarket or that shitty conventional raised beef, you're still supporting the people controlling the food The point that we're out here for is we're trying to cause the least amount of harm possible. If you're worried about insects and rodents getting killed in crops, it takes 14 times the amount of crops for a meat eater's diet than a vegan. So if you're truly care about insects and rodents, you must go vegan, brother. We're all here for you. Come on, Tarzan! We'll all help you. Let's go, Tarzan! That's beautiful, that material. And I see that it's not real. So that's good. You're already on the right path. Let's go, Tarzan! Walk with us, bro. Let's go!
Like, get the boys are trying to make there is rat, a rat, a rat, a rat, all that stuff that get killed, right? But you have to think about it. The point is, I kill less, I kill yeah, 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 bro. It's, it's, not, it's not a one day thing. It's not tomorrow, everyone's gonna drop it in, we're all gonna drop everything. It's a process. I'm not telling you the name of the farm. It's a process. I'm not telling you any of Yes, you would. These vegans are common. They want me to tell them the name of a farm, I guarantee you. I have a question. No, I have a good question. I have a question. Well, I have a question. Okay, you have two choices right here, right now. If I had a vegan prepared meal or you had to slash someone's throat, what would you do? You want me to cut it? No, I want you to be honest. If I had a nice vegan dish right here, and right here, I had a nice baby animal. You had to slash its throat to eat its body. What would you do? I'll respond to that if I can hold this. Go ahead. I think that's an unfair comparison to make. And I think that the decision people make every single day has to do with the foods they're choosing in the answer? supermarket. That's fine. Can you answer my question answer real quick? Answer the question. Just answer it. When I purchase food, I choose I to buy my food from a local farm that was raised properly. Not answer the question. The point is, you would eat the vegan meal and you have the same decision every time you eat. It's 2019, we got grocery stores with vegetables, fruit, quinoa, and pasta. So the point is, I know you went around, beat around the bush. You wouldn't kill the animal, you would eat the other dish. Because the industry has removed you from the process, you're okay with it. I'll make a deal. You answer my question, I'll answer your question. Answer mine first and you got a deal. I'll shake you. I don't trust you. Fuck you. <laughs> you pay for bestiality, bro. You pay for animals to get fisted and jerked off. You guys are the ones dressing up You just house. jumped into the ring and thought you could box Muhammad Ali. Merry Christmas. Yeah, can you have vegan Can you have vegan I'm trying to have a conversation with these people. They're rude, they're interrupting me, they're putting their hands on me. They don't want to hear what I have to say. So we'll see if we can find someone that does. Why well, vegan diet is all no thanks, man. I'm on a vegan diet. I like the tail, but he could have had a full costume. So they're actually starting the march right now. They're walking down this way. So we took a little bit of a break and they've already marched down to 8th Street. Uh, so the parade actually started on 23rd and Broadway. Uh, they marched down about 15 blocks. Uh, the police are slowly opening up the streets as uh, they come, come past. Uh, so we're going to go down and see uh, what's going on besides some crazy chanting.
fun, man. It's like we're walking ahead of the parade and we're handing out flyers why they're wrong. people on the side of the street they're just screaming like lunatics uh, i'm sure there's going to be plenty of news articles later saying how big this event was but reality is there, there weren't more than a couple hundred people here a, a few hundred people max, right a few, john a few hundred people max a thousand you think so but but london had what twelve thousand people so i wouldn't believe the numbers in the news are all there's no way there's more than a thousand people. There can't be. Can I get one of your Oh, thanks, dude. Where'd you get your makeup Hold on. We gotta do the first makeup check of the day? No, no, no. You want me to wipe my face? Makeup doesn't go out there. Okay. Let me. Anyone? I gotta accuse the makeup. I don't like that. Look, he's dressed like Mars, and we can chase after him like monkeys. Oh, he won't even feel because it's all about. Dude, what, literally, what kind of piece of shit are you it's to sponsor her? You're sponsoring well, I'm not the kind of person that goes up to a stranger and calls him a piece of shit. But I did, I am. Well, but you You're a piece exactly. of shit. And you are too. You're a piece of shit. And you are too. And, and what? What's called histrionic personality disorder. And what piece of shit? Relax, 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 it is safe to say that not much positive happens here at the Animal Rights March 2019. Besides Frankie Boyd getting a nice even tan, who knows if anything positive will ever come out of these movements. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, check out some of the other videos on my channel. Maybe some of you nice people can move to New York so there aren't so many dirtbags down here, but we'll see. Because I just happened to live around the park. Yeah. So I came to ask people what's important to them in, in the election, the 2020 election. That's all I want to know. So do you have an opinion about that? In regards to the 2020 election, my life has never changed from any sort of... Like, so can I interview you? Yes, I Okay, so, um, so what, what matters to you? The day-to-day -day life of the average person. Every, everyone always talks about politics, everyone's very emotionally based, but at the end of the day, everyone's doing the same thing. They wake up, they go to work, they come home, whatever they do, they do their hobbies, they do this, they do that. that. All people do is talk, and they don't really take action with anything. People put all of their eggs in one basket, being their family, themselves, I mean, I personally you know, spend most of my time making educational videos, trying to improve people's health. So when I see someone talk about, oh, Trump, oh, election, I'm like, you people spend an awful... You suck, people, Frank. You people spend an awful lot of time talking about things. To me, personally, the health, the health of people and that people are happy. And, and the first step for that is making sure people you know, are getting quality food in their diet, are exercising. And, and if you can't meet that requirement, then you have a population full of people uh, you know, with a low IQ, that are sick, that are unhealthy, that can't function day-to-day -day lives. And, and once we are able to do that, then we can take... Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you.